When I first started to work with Godot, I thought the source code is something magical. But when I got familiar and understand the structure of the Godot engine, I saw changing the source code is not a big deal. I won't say I can't do anything. I also should learn a lot more. But as I am learning, I want to share what I learned with you guys. So here what I have done. Normally, if you want to grab a parent of a node, you can call a getParent function. Here I want to add another function which will grab grandparent. You can create this function easily in GDScript, but I'm going to change Godot source code and add this functionality to Godot. So this will be part of the Godot core. So let's do it. Here is Godot source code, which I downloaded from GitHub. First thing to do is to find node class. You can search for the node header file, but normally all nodes and resource classes are inside scene folder. If you go inside scene folder, inside main folder, you can find node.h and node.cpp. I just open node.h and let's find get parent function and see how does it work. This is the get parent declaration. And if you look at its definition, you can see it will grab the parent from the data struct. Data is a struct inside each node which contain information about that node. And this is going to return a pointer to the parent node. So now let's add our function. In node.h, first we declare our function which is called getGrandParent. Our function also is going to return a pointer to another node. Next, let's define our function in node.cpp. So here, first we check if the parent is a null pointer, we are also going to return a null pointer. And if the parent is not null pointer, we are going to return grandparent. You can call get parent which return a pointer of the parent node and then call get parent again with arrow operator because this is a pointer to the parent node. But I'm going to grab it directly from data struct this way. Okay, I hope up to this point you understand this well. Last thing we should do is to bind this method to be able to use that in Godot. In Godot, ClassDB is a class which is responsible to register all classes and bind all methods. And if you bind your method using ClassDB, you are able to access that inside GDScript. If you follow my GD extension video series, there also exists the same concept. So find bind method function inside node.cpp and here just bind your method with the static method which exists inside class db. This method is called bind method. Here you pass the information of your method which are the name and argument name of your method in a form of a C++ struct. And you can create that struct with the method macro. And you should also pass the address of your method. And everything is done. Now, if you compile Godot from source code, you will have grandparent function in your GD script. You can apply this method in all classes which are in a scene folder. But for the core classes, sometimes you need to do some tweaks. Later in this channel, I will create a video about how you can change also core classes. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, bye.